Hello everybody, welcome to Babado. My name is Errol and I'm one of the founders of Babado and I wanted to give a quick tutorial of how to best use the Babado for proving your dough balls. First of all, as you can see here, I've got a kilo of um, bulk proved dough. I'm going to split that into 250 gram balls. I'm going to ball it up and then I'm going to place them into the Babado's and I'm going to leave them for about two to three hours to rise, after which point we'll take it out and show you how easy it is to take a dough ball out of Babado. In front of me I've got scales, I've got my dough, I've got my cutter, I've got my Babado's and I've got some oil because I'll be lightly coating each of the Babado's with the oil before I put the dough balls into the Babado. Hydration is about 65% um, so it's you know reasonably kind of tacky and sticky as a solution. So so each of them it's not exact. It's a rough rough 250 grams for each ball, which for me means that I can make a 12 inch pizza. So with the now cut, I'm going to shape them and still balls. Get it nice and tight so that it holds its shape as it rises and keeps all that lovely air as the yeast gobbles up the flour. There we go, nice ball. I'll take my Babado spray. Just a light coating of oil. Place the Babado in the container. Put the lid and there you go, next. There we go. I find that the uh, surface, kitchen work surface, is really good for this because the dough ball kind of sticks to the surface as you pull it towards you. Second one done. Now the third. I do find this quite therapeutic. I don't know how everybody else feels. Third one for our dull colored box. And finally, for the last dough ball, I think there's slightly more dough in this one. It's probably closer to 265, 270 grams than it is to So there we go, four dough balls now proving for let's say two or three hours and I'll come back and I'll take them out of the Babadose.